my four would be have a systems architect. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is an individual with extreme knowledge and extreme ability with regards to engineering the, the, the target system. So it's not just anybody, it's someone who knows architecture and knows what the relevance of architecture is going to be for the design. Then depending on the scope of the endeavor, uh, I'd have modelers and even teams of modelers, but again, they would have to be modelers who understand that collaboration is key, that they're going to have to work in, into terms that are going to be communicated across the teams and have representatives from each of these teams coordinating throughout their engagement. And that in the end, they're supporting the development. And so these should not be operating independently in silos. Personally, I would say ensure strong requirements control. That'll come off badly with some folks. We say requirements control, they're thinking absolutely firm requirements. No, that's not what I mean. It's not the same as requirements lockdown, but what I mean is that your requirements should be understood and they can be modeled. There are programs designed specifically for um, modeling requirements and being able to look at them so that they're visible to all, measurable. You know, of course, everyone says measurable, but they, they must be measurable and must be constructed properly, including the non-functional requirements. Again, non-functional requirements, they speak to the capabilities you're delivering ultimately. Right. And so that's why I keep emphasizing the non-functional requirements. It's surprising to me that they're called that, but they are. Establish the necessary lines of communication. And this is my last point. And then it has to do with not siloing. Very hard for people not to silo. You know, they silo according to mechanical engineers and electrical engineers and who's doing what when. They must be f have some forcing function to cause people to collaborate and they have to collaborate fairly frequently. Mm -hmm.